Hey everybody, I'm Ben, one of the developers of Destiny Item Manager, also known as DIM, and I wanted to show you how to use DIM to keep your inventory in check after you've been out adventuring for a while and have accumulated a lot of stuff. So I've been doing that. I've been out there doing patrols and faction rally, and I've got a lot of blue items in my vault right now. Uh, part of that is because I've been using our farming mode which continuously makes sure that there's one space open in your inventory for each slot, weapons, and all that. Uh, you can see you just run farming mode like this. And it makes sure that there's room so that when you pick something up in the world, it doesn't go into the postmaster. It'll go into your character and then eventually get swept up into the vault. So I've got a bunch of stuff in the vault now from farming and, and working on stuff, and I've just been ignoring them. But it's time for me to go and clean them up. So what I want to show you is how DIM's search features allow you to clean up your gear, find out what to shard and what to keep. In Destiny 2, items are a lot simpler and have fixed roles, so there's no two guns that have a better role or a worse role. So what we can do is use DIM's really handy is dupe feature to search for items that are duplicates of each other. So up here in the search bar, I just type is dupe. And you can see all of these items are duplicates of each other. So for example, this rocket launcher I've got two of, and this sword I've got two of. So anything with a lower power at that point, I can dismantle, turn it into legendary shards. I don't need two of those. What we've got to help you out with that is is dupe lower, which only selects the items that are uh, not the best of your duplicates. Once you've got those, uh, you probably want to, like, if you're like me, I'm trying to start a second character here, this Titan. He's got a bunch of stuff on him that I don't want to care about right now. So we can just say not common and not uh, green, right? You can use common or rare or whatever you want. So now I've got selected all the duplicates that are not the highest power uh, that I might want to dismantle. In fact, I actually want to filter it all the way down to not blue also. Because I only really want to, blues are just for infusion, I just want to du uh, dismantle duplicate uh, legendaries and exotics. So now that I've got them, all I need to do is click on my hunter here, select the search loadout, which is automatically selecting the items that you've searched for. Click this, they all get moved directly onto my hunter and I can dismantle those uh, whenever I want. So that's a great way to get rid of your duplicates, uh, which you don't want to deal with. The other thing you might have is a bunch of these blue items that are lower power than your max uh, base power. So you can see here, DIM shows you your max base power, which is your power level without counting mods. And that's the level that items will drop at, uh, that engrams will be set at. Uh, so it really matters for getting your overall power level up. You want to increase your max base power. So any blue that's uh, at or near or above your max base power, uh, you want to keep so that you can infuse and, uh, and make use of it. For other ones that are lower level, you can just dismantle them because you're not even going to bother infusing with them. So what I do here is I just search uh, is blue, just first grab all my blues, and then I do light because we, <laughs> we used the same code as we did for Destiny 1, so we called it light. Uh, is light less than, let's say, 285? Okay, so here we are. These are a bunch of things that I'm never going to use as infusion fuel. They're just junk. I'm going to dismantle them. All right, so then I can just go over here to the search loadout, select uh, the automatic loadout of those items, click it, and it'll all transfer right over to my hunter so that I can dismantle them. And you can see... My vault is counting up and down, and there we go. 58 items in a couple seconds, all moved onto my hunter. I can mass dismantle. Be careful with that, uh, but I can mass dismantle these, and it's great. If I want to uh, change my mind, I can always put these back by keeping the same search or any search, right? Maybe uh, any other blue. Vault, you can apply the search loadout just as well here. So I can click that, and they all go back to the vault uh, so I can deal with them later. You can see them all moving in just as fast as we can call the API. The other thing you might want to do if you're looking at legendaries, uh, so let's say we're looking at our legendaries that are under our power cap. 
uh, one thing you might want to be careful with is to not ever dismantle anything that has a power mod on it. So like this gun here has a plus five mod and you don't maybe want to dismantle it. You might, but maybe you don't. So all you have to do there is say not power mod and that'll discount anything that doesn't have a uh, plus five mod on it. Or you can say is power mod and only select those if you want to move them to another character for safekeeping or something like that. Uh, because these are slightly special when it comes to infusion. Of course, if you want to know how an item like this will infuse, you can use our handy infusion file fuel finder and figure out exactly what you can do with it. All of these filters are super powerful and let you select and move items in bulk uh, so that you can figure out exactly what you want to keep, what you want to shard, how you want to build your loadouts, all that stuff. To learn all about that, you can just hit this question mark right up in the filters dialog, and it'll bring up all the different filters and give you an example of how to use them and what they mean. And then if you click on one of them, it'll automatically apply it. So by clicking through here, you can build up a search uh, just through examples. Of course, if you have a bunch of items that you're not sure about, like hand cannons, for example, and you can't just shard based on uh, power level or duplicates, you can always use the compare items feature, bring it up, compare everything with the same general rate of fire, or compare all the hand cannons that you've got. Uh, and this can really help you figure out, you know, that, hey, I want to junk this one, uh, and I want this one's my favorite. And then later you can keep track of that using tags or dismantle them right away. Another feature that we haven't had a chance to spend a lot of time on uh, because it's pretty new is uh, mods. So we don't have a lot of our search tools for mods, but you can still search through their names. So for example, if you want all the mods that uh, apply arc, you can just type arc, it'll search through the names and there they are, uh, you know, or paragon. So there are all your paragon mods. So just a reminder, DIM is completely free, ad free, uh, works on every platform. It's built by a team of volunteers and it's completely open source. We always love help. Uh, we always love suggestions. Uh, you can reach us on Twitter or Reddit uh, or Discord. And we have up here a backers page where you can support us directly. Uh, and we have a little shop where you can buy t-shirts and stuff to show your affiliation with DIM, your love of DIM. Uh, so feel free to subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks for DIM later. And I hope I see you next time.